right so um just a part two to video one um if you do happen to go to the supermarket and they haven't got what you want try and think out of the box okay think alternatively so eg um there's no fresh cow's milk obviously next step go and have a look see if there's any uht milk if there's no uht milk go and have a look for the powdered milk if there's no powdered milk go and have a look at the horrible milk like tinned milk you can still get that stuff um, then go and have a look in the organic and gluten-free sections or get the milk that is um, high fat milk you know gold top or um, you know buttermilk and things like that um, an alternative to bread obviously if you haven't got bread substitute with cakes stale cakes even you can blitz them down and remake them the stale breads that nobody wants blitz them up make yourself a nice breakfast bread pudding or bread and butter pudding try and think out of the box think alternatively you can there's loads of different things you can do um, it's like if you haven't got milk for example and you wanted to to make um, a bread or a cake or something you can make flatbeds with yogurt so buying the Greek yogurt instead um, the sour milks that have gone off and nobody wants buy them because you can turn them into cheese um, you know or, or milk that's got a very low sell-by date get it anyway and make yourself some butter you know think of the alternatives try and think with a head that comes straight out of 150 years ago the homestead ahead that's what you need creativity in times of need you know you can bulk up cakes and things like that with vegetables people don't think about that you know forage for what you can if you can't find it all right learn about foraging it's very important and um, obviously if you are able to hunt and support your diet like that go and do so um, I was so cheesed off the other day because I wanted to just go and get a bit of chicken or some lamb and there was none there on the shelves and I was just like looking in and I was like oh well good job I've still got a rabbit in the freezer good job but I saw there um, a turkey leg for two quid and turkey legs a lot of meat on a turkey leg and for the many may as well get one so I got one of those so that'll, that's like eating lamb if you do it with a lamb dinner it's the same you can put it in curry do whatever improvise get creative um, there's a book out there called Nourishing Traditions by a lady, a very wise lady called um, Sally Fallon. And she's documented as many of the old frontier and American homestead uh, um, recipes and cooking techniques that were used. Some of them are 200 years old. So, and in this book, it's literally so comprehensive. It is literally every woman who is prepper minded or wants to feed her family on a budget or with limited resources or means. It is literally the kitchen Bible. So I highly recommend that book for people. Go out, and buy it. You can get it on Amazon. It is expensive. It's about 21 quid, something like that. But it's, it's invaluable. The knowledge that is in that book will see you right no matter what your circumstances, okay? Um, don't panic about the food situation, all right? There, there is plenty of food in the warehouses, like I said in the first video, because they stocked up for Brexit. But please, please do not panic buy, you know, because you'll just buy random stuff that will just probably end up going in the bin, all right? If you see vegetables that are on sale or bread that's on sale or is drastically reduced, get them. There's lots of things you can do. There's lots of things you can make. Even if you made up stews and casseroles and you put them in Tupperware tubs or the Chinese takeaway tubs and put them in the freezer, you've got meals for ages. Try not to panic, all right? I know it's difficult in these circumstances, but please try your best to plan your meals ahead of time. You will save yourself a stack of money and you will literally be sorted. If you see a mushroom that's not looking very well and it's like 5p and you weigh it or whatever, get it. Because even though it's like looks beyond its best, you can still slice it up and dehydrate it. Fine in a chicken and mushroom soup. Do you know what I mean? So try and think creatively 
and um, don't beat yourself up too much guys oh no I haven't got any beans don't worry look for the balati beans that nobody wants look for the dry beans that nobody wants because they're not instant food you see everyone's used to ping ping diet so you just buy those okay and then you just add your own tomato sauce it's steady you see it's not even hard if you have got um, space to grow a few things there's nothing wrong with growing a few tomatoes and some garden herbs on your windowsills and indoors you grow peppers and um, I did know one bloke who actually um, grew a stack of potatoes in his kitchen in some dustbins so just get creative people we've been here before all right we've been here before we got through the blitz we got through all the rationing you know the minor strikes of the 70s and 80s this is old news, it's just a different means, that's all. This is, a, this is a different thing we've had to contend with. But the situation is pretty much the same and we can adapt and survive. And if you're very clever and wise and you read and you use this time if you're laid off, accumulate knowledge. That's the most important thing of all is knowledge. It takes away the fear. Anyway, take it easy guys and best of luck to you all.